Tim Benson here with Houchin Bindery. Today we're going to do a basic tutorial on how to set up your cover for a bound comic book volume with graphic cover. Once the book has been bound, we'll provide dimensions to you. Those dimensions will include the width of the spine, the width and height of the front and back cover, and then you'll need to add a 3 4 inch border all the way around. We'll provide the total width and total height of the document. So in this tutorial, we're going to use Photoshop. So we're going to create a new document using total width and total height. From there, you can add guides to the 3 4 inch border all the way around. You can also add guides to give you a visual for the spine layout. So in this situation, the spine is two inches wide. So we'll put guides at the 7.75 and 9.75 marks. From there, you insert your images, text, uh, whatever it is you're going to be using for the cover. Some tips on how to get the best result for these covers. Um, you can add a 16th inch border to the inside of your guides that should gives you a small gap so that you don't have anything right on the edge of the board you can also place a mark at the 50 percent point or the middle point that helps us when we lay out the cover to make sure we get an exact center so a small mark on the top or the bottom in the border around so it's not something you'll ever see it'll be covered up by the end sheets or the book itself the last thing i'd like to discuss is how to get the images on your cover to bleed onto the edges of the book you don't want the images on your cover to end directly on the the measurement or the edge of the cover that we provide you want them to extend a little bit farther so that they go on to the wrap portion of the book. If you're unable to extend the image beyond the edges of the cover, one thing you can do is create a mirror image. In this case, we took the cover to the comic, cut a portion or copy a portion of the top, bottom, and edge, and just create another layer, um, kind of a mirror image, and, and then merge all of those layers. The images aren't going to be visible beyond just color on the edge of the book. But the alternative is having an edge on your cover design at the edge of the book and then having a solid white or solid black on the edge. So I hope this was a helpful video to help you design covers or graphic covers at Houchin. I'll be using the template you saw earlier in the video to send measurements to everyone so be looking for feedback on that template check us out on our youtube page house and binary limited facebook and also sign up for our newsletter where i'll be sending out regular updates thank you